So we got Phil of Andrell here. <clears throat> yeah, I'm probably not gonna need the Sapper. Uh, don't use both elves. I'm gonna. Don't need that. So considering we don't have dryads, we're gonna start with the elf. Elf into the miner, into the hawk, into a smuggler. Actually, we can start with Percival. No, start with Percival. I spend more time passing cards than I do within it. What do you have? Guerrilla tactics. Move a unit to the other row. If it's an enemy, boost damage it by two. If it's an eye, boost it by two. Yeah, Bruver. Nice. <clears throat> when uh, homecoming, there was only two cards. See, she heal and spears. Oh my god. Oh man. Uh, I guess we're gonna play in the back now. Yeah, but like... It <laughs> yeah. They really fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> when they release Homecoming. And that was the f impression a lot of people got. Imagine how, how many people were disappointed after so many time. And they just left Gwent. And they just like, you know, I, I don't I don't care about Gwent anymore. You know, this is not my Gwent and they just left. And I totally understand that. And they're totally right. You know. Usually players leave the game once. They leave the game once. You know, this is, not, this is the game not for me anymore. Or maybe like, yeah. And they just leave. Not for me or not not for me anymore, and they just leave. And they not, not just like keep giving the game chances. Never, ever whistle in a mind. Trained Hawk and the uh, Smuggler last. I'm not sure what else uh, after that. Personal might be okay. <laughs> oh my god. The homecoming experience was terrible. Compared to that, Gwent has uh, come a long way. But I like to compare Gwent uh, compared to its, uh, you know, best times. And compared to that, this time is pretty damn good. Maybe one of the best. Definitely one of the best. And that's actually a pretty big thing, because Close beat was pretty awesome, but it was unbalanced. It was it was just crazy fun, but it was it was definitely crazy and unbalanced. Then it came open beta, which started out pretty good, but then it progressively got worse, and people were getting disappointed with it. And then they decided to go homecoming, which was the all time low. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually getting a lot better. It got got to a point, but it's probably the best Gwent. Oh fuck! Actually, I oh no no no! I I accidentally did the right move, which turned out to be the right move. I I kind of wanted to damage it, but at the same well, I accidentally I moved it, but it was still good. <laughs> Never mind that. Oh, he's gonna move it back. Fine. I don't have any other poison. We can just go Hawk or Smuggler. Midwinter was uh, bad too. Yeah, that's kind of like I kind of grouped it together into the game getting worse into open beta in, in the open beta. And before Homecoming release. So we got a dwarf, an elf, and no dryads. So Barnabas is not the best here, but I might still play it. We will take back what was Why is he s such a tempo fiend? I think I might just pass. What do you guys think? Fight or pass? I put up a decent fight. He does have a slight value generation. Actually, that's one, one a turn. The cards that I would play here are quite costly. I could... Yeah, I don't really want to get out something from the deck. These are very costly cards. But... 
I can put up decent fight. We can play Barnabas. We get uh, t three triggers. I think that's so damn close. I, I would rather win. Oh, yeah. let's, let's just try to win. Oh shit, I already have a gnome on the board. <laughs> I forgot about that. <clears throat> damn. Fight. I love everything about New Gwent besides that I would like to... Positioning of the cards in rows and maybe compare to each other to be more meaningful. We can definitely play a tree. At this point we are pretty committed to winning. I'm in the lead by 6 points. If I play the Weeping Willow, it's gonna trigger 3, three guys. So it's gonna be 15 points in the lead. I'm gonna poison that guy. I just want you to pass. 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 Pass, please. I don't wanna play the Hawk. Also, it wouldn't really do much. It would be only 6 points. The Great Hawk is the uh, my last big pusher. Please, would you pass? Just pass, okay? <laughs> I don't know. Seems like people are just crazy about winning round one. And, you know, I get it. Round one is pretty damn cool. But at times they're just going overboard. Guerrilla tactics. Why? One for sure, it's gonna cost him a pretty big card. To keep fighting here. Just pass, okay? Obviously, I'm playing a Harmony deck. It's gonna be a long run... Uh, ...free, so... What does it matter? Just, just pass, mate. Okay. It's probably the weakest option. Unless we want two. Which could be two... Too much. I wouldn't mind like one tree and one poisoner. And he's probably not gonna have like huge guys. But maybe he's gonna make me regret that. We gotta pass of course. Yeah, we're just looking for unique tags here. Most of all. And a water of Broccolon. Like, of course, we need uh, Call of the Forest to try to find the water of Broccolon. I just want to have a consistent deck. I would rather have a deck that's like a 95 instead of a 100. If it can be like a 95 most of the time. Uh, just for the guy that went 3 cards down. Just to win round 1. People are weird. Ooh, Did it work out for him? <laughs> okay, the, that works. So we have a, a human. So these are unique tags. The big mulligans here are the Mahalka Marauder. Uh, yeah, I mean, technically, we already have the tech covered. But, uh, yeah, Vrihit Sappers is the one that has to go. Okay, two machines, that's pretty bad. Actually, they have some bonded synergy. Whoa! <laughs> Maybe he kills the machine. There's no way. There's no way. No way he's gonna do that. I was just joking. No, he's not, he's not gonna kill the machine. So we can go Call of the Forest. Uh, get out Fav into the water of Broccolon. Okay. Not copied just yet. Next, we should play something that has harmony in it. And probably has a, a backup. We don't have such a card. We should probably play Pafko as well. If we play Pafko, and if he dies, it's still, still fine. It's still fine, because he generates two value a turn. So it might just, might just be Pafko, and then I play 
the other harmony units. Oh crap, really? Shoop! Why? He's playing a bunch of crap cards, I should have seen this one coming. I just... I just assume he's bad. <laughs> oh man. Oh sh... No! Don't do it! Whoa! Wreck the rug! Oh my god, no! I used to play that card. What a bastard. <laughs> Wow, that's got to be pretty good long long run value. Shoot, my might, might be actually worth it for him, but I think he's still going to lose. Okay, we're gonna play Pafko. What? Oh shit! No cancel. Oh, actually giving me a warning. Hey, dumbass! Don't play Pafko over there. Okay, fine, fine. Don't tell me what to do. If I wanna play Pafko in the melee row. Oh my god. I fucking they put this in the game because I'm an idiot. <laughs> they had to. It's like Okay, there you go. Play this in the range row, mate. Just do it. Just do it. No. People still fuck it up. Okay, fine. It's just like big warning screen. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. <laughs> this kind of worked. <laughs> Oh crap. If he hits Pafko, he's not gonna get killed by the Ragnarok. Unless he moves it as well. Yeah. That's fine. Wait, what? Ooh, the Rag all aboard the Ragnarok train, boys. Uh, okay, let's let's go with the half elf hunter. Playing uh, Pafko was kind of worth it, because he died, and we can re-trigger him, we have an extra human. Maybe we're gonna play the chariots in the back. Wait, what? He can only deal 3 damage. Oh, he's killing the elf. Killing the harmony elf. Very smart. Ooh, we should aim it away. I just force him to play the tiger. Although the back still wouldn't die. He's probably gonna uh, tiger in the middle of the last row. I don't like the point. Because, yeah, that's one. That's the one. Because sometimes I give people ideas. I don't like that. I was like, hmm, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I was thinking about. This one has armor. Well, I don't want to lose the guys in the back, so... Okay. Who cares about Ragnarok? This is the light better. We don't care about that. Actually, they have the perfect uh, balanced weather now. Vetter is so bad, no one even plays the counters. No one even plays Vetter. I, I, I tried to use Ragnarok at times, but I used it quite a bit, but damn. It's too bad. It can't be done. Spawn two Rody Dwarfs. So, this is gonna be five units that we can play on the, on the first row. It's actually more worth it if he kills it. Oh man. The guys in the back are not having the best time. It needs to be on the same row. Bonded. Copy. Okay. It doesn't have to be played on the same row. Oh man. 
man. What? <laughs> So we can play the Warren Chariot in the back and it's still gonna be fine. We're gonna have enough units in the back there. Okay. And we're gonna have a big Great Oak. Yeah. This is gonna be tough, but the Great Oak boosts everyone. Rest in peace. Even Ragnarok couldn't save you, Phil of Andral. I'm loving this deck. This is this is really nice. Okay, well played.